Today, we're going to mow a lot. What's going on, everybody? DJ Gohem here. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a great day. Today, we are getting the wheat that we got yesterday, actually during the live stream a couple days ago. We're going to get this put away. We're going to see how much we got. And we're going to go from there because, oh, bad, 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 bad. <laughs> It's a tight map, but I love it. I love this map so much. Let's get this unloaded. We're actually going to get quite an amount. So what we have is 800,000 liter capacity, but we're never going to fill that up ever, ever, ever. We only have one cell point. So you really have to be careful, well, at least for the normal crops. We only have one cell point. So you have to be careful about what you sell, when you sell. You have to be extremely... that. Uh, own it. Yeah, you got to be extremely on it. There we go. So there's that. What I've got to do now is straw. We're going to do the same thing, but with straw. So I need to go back. Come on, DJ. You can do this, man. You can do this. We've got a little snowblower around here somewhere. The milling machine is what it's called. We're going to take this, hook up to it. Right here it is. Grab it. There we go. We'll go ahead and turn it, tilt it, do its thing. It should recognize almost immediately, which it has. Good, good, good. We're going to take this over. So all the straw that we got during our live stream the other day, we need to pick that up. Also, today is going to be a day of mowing. I've got one mower, i got one tether, and then we've got the, a windrower and this guy right here, this mean looking mug in the front. We're going to use all that in conjunction with each other today hopefully, to get everything done in a very nice and timely manner. We shall see how long it actually takes. And I tell you what, this is going to take us a little while. I remember correctly, this will go pretty darn fast. So we're going to set it to 20, and of course we're already missing some. Come on, just just go in. Go in the thing. You could, you could do it. There we go. <laughs> what? Oh, we're already missing so. So what is the dealio here? It's not uh, picking it up near as fast as I thought it was going to. You know what? Let's just bring the cruise down and we'll see. I think six miles an hour is a little too much. It'll take us as long to do this as it did to fill up the whole, uh, do the whole field. Hmm. Well, this ought to be interesting. Let's see what we could get done. All right, this is our last load right here. We got a lot, like a lot, a lot. Um, I, I'm pretty sure we're over a hundred grand, or a hundred grand, a hundred thousand liters now. Let's, let's just poke in and take a little look, see. What do we get? Yeah, 170 already, 175, ooh, hit my microphone, 180, 190. Goodness gracious, that's a whole lot of straw. 194,000 liters off of that one field. That, um, gotta be honest with you, that actually makes me really, really nervous about, uh, about getting the, uh, get the hay up because there's so much hay all over these fields, or I say hay, there's so much grass all around. Let's get this parked up. I guess this is a good place for it. Get as place as any. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take the Massey Ferguson. That's gonna be what we're gonna use to mow. I thought about using this, but then I was like, you know what? I'm not really sure if this is what we want to be using for mowing. I'll bring this in, get it dropped off about right, uh, right there, and hop in the Massey. Oh, yeah. A lot of you guys want to see this thing right here, the 7700S. This is the modded version that we've got in game. Anybody can get this. So if you're on console, PC, whatever, you have, oh, bump counter. <laughs> you have access to this, and it's phenomenal. It really, truly is. We've got the biggest engine on here, so we are good. We shouldn't have to worry about anything. We got a couple lately mowers right here. We're gonna grab that. 
So we have three grass fields plus, oh, there we go. Three grass fields plus we have the cow pasture and the sheep pasture. We're gonna mow all of that. And then once we come back in, uh, we're gonna plow up the sheep and the cow pasture both because we're gonna use those for grass as well. We're gonna end up getting more grass than we need. I will tell you that right now. We're gonna get way, way more than we need. But it's better to have too much than bump counter number two, too little. Uh, <laughs> that was a crash, that's what that was. Well, let's get this about right here. Open it up, unfold, lower. We can go ahead and turn that on. Lower the back, turn that on. Set our cruise, nice and easy. And go, baby. This is what I'm talking about. So this will take us a good little bit to get done because we're not using the big mower. Got to be honest with you, if I could go back, I probably would have bought the Chrome, especially considering all the grass that we've got. So with that one, we could mow and Ted all at the same time. Oh, I'm having second thoughts. So here's the deal. <laughs> I have not purchased it, we have leased it. So we're gonna see, is it really going to be more beneficial to us? I think yes, definitely it will be, especially after our first sale of things. But for now, like I said, we have done a lease. So we have leased this for about $19,000. We're gonna have it for an hour. Let's back into here, grab this guy. Got it, nice. Now, what is the difference on the tether and the mower? If you guys are curious, let's check that out. So the mower is at 9.9 .9 meters. However, the tether we've got is a 13 meter tether. So what we're gonna have to do is we've already done a headland, which is fine. We're gonna go around and I'm just gonna go ahead and ted that headland. And then we're gonna mow and ted at the same time. And once we've mowed and ted at the same time, at least, well, once that first headland's done, Overlap is not going to matter after that. Here we go. Let's go and get this unfolded. Now, the great thing about both of these implements right here is you can fast farm with both of them. So if you want to fast farm Mo, if you want to fast farm Ted, you can do both of those with, oh man, with both of these pieces of equipment. There we go. <clears throat> I do need to boom out so I can see where the heck I'm going. Oh mate, yeah. We're, uh, I think we're gonna get ourselves in a bit of trouble here, especially with a rear steering uh, mower. I'm really trying to behave, guys. I really, really try to behave. I'm not sure that this is the rig to use, man. I don't think this is working at all. This is dangerous. This is what this is. I think we should, mow <laughs> should we mow its head differently? Oh my goodness. Uh, either that or just stay in line, right? Let's see. Well, I don't know. Let's let's kick it into upper gear, fast farming. Let's see. Yeah, this is working pretty well. Nothing too crazy about it. This probably looks weird just driving around with a a mower and not tedding. All right, all right. So I think it's gonna work fine. I just had a couple little issues to start with. Nothing too wild. As long as we stay. Oh man. Really got to do something with that gate right there. Back it up, back it up, hit these spots. Nice. So once we get this finished, we are going to lower. So let's come in here. Let's go ahead and get this lowered down while we're finishing our headland here. Uh, I think this is how we're going to have to do every headland. We also have to make sure that we get all of this tetted up into hay because if we even dare get a little bit of it and it's not hay, we're going to run into big trouble. All right. Lower down. I do want to make sure, let's see, toggle work mode, widespreading. I think widespreading is what I want. Yep, widespreading. Let's turn that on. And then regardless of where we go, it should get it all. It, cough, it should get it all. If I could just figure out how to drive the darn thing. We got sick right here. This is a uh, pretty, pretty OP mowing rig, isn't it? I like this, this is cool. I wonder how fast we can get this field done. Actually, pretty quickly, this is working out very well. 
what I've been doing is kind of getting down to the end and then spinning it about. So we get down to here, get the tether to run, and then spin it about. <laughs> it just kicks it out. <laughs> and we just kind of roll through and keep going. Now, of course, since we are to this point in the field, I think I'm just going to do up and downs. Yeah, just like that. That'll work fine. And then spin this. And pick up on this. There you go. So this is the way we're going to do every single field, I believe. Once we get that first headland done, which is a nightmare and a half, I must add. Once we get that first headland done, it seems like it's not too bad. Spin it. It's too much fun. We're into the cow pen now. I'm trying not to get greedy and just drive nice and easy, <laughs> nice around. Again, we don't have cows yet, but we will eventually. So I want to make sure that we've got enough grass and, and hay and all that kind of good stuff for them. As a matter of fact, we're turning everything into hay. I am a, a disponent? Opponent? Yeah, opponent. I am an opponent of grass and a proponent of hay because hay is so much more versatile with hay you could turn hay into silage you can feed your animals uh, any animal that takes grass can be fed hay so you got your cows and your sheep for that matter uh, you don't have to feed them grass you can feed them hay and be perfectly fine uh, also you can use it in tmr you can't use grass in tmr it just turns into forage and it's blah that's why i like doing hay because it's so versatile. So if you guys are uh, are a proponent of hay and an opponent of grass, let me know down in the comment section below. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. You don't have to, you don't have to do one or the other. This is just what I do. If it helps you guys, that's what matters to me. Now we have done the sheep and the cow pastures. Now we got three more grass fields to go. This is ridiculous, turn it on make a spin drop it down low turn it on make a spin let's go baby this is gonna take forever i'm not looking forward to having to pick all this up but it is what it is and duty calls almost done with the fourth field that we have mowed today i tell you i'm a little done with grass at this point i'm getting, it's getting out of hand all right there's that Let's go ahead and get these guys raised up. Oh, forget we could turn these on and off. And one thing I am going to do is we've been uh, kind of sneaking a little bit because you could go through the hedges on this map. So yes, we could, in theory, <laughs> use the gates, but we could also, in theory, not. And not, oh boy, <laughs> not is, uh, well, not is my favorite. So that's the one we're going to go with. Right here, last one, drop it down, turn on. This is the last film. I'm so done, man. You have no idea I'm so done. Turn it on and do a little thing. You probably hear me slamming buttons right now. There we go, get them through the trees. Here we go. This is the very, very last one. I'm gonna be so happy when we're done. But remember, we still have to windrow everything and collect it. So well, I say windrow, we're actually gonna be using a merger and that should make it a little bit easier. We're gonna be doing double passes still, but the good thing is we'll get it done, hopefully, a little bit faster. We're, we're done. It's almost over. We've waited so long. It's been so, <laughs> it's been forever. <laughs> there we go. Let's just double check. I mean, it's not gonna matter really coming through here, but 27, 28, filled eight. These two yards right here, we're done. It's over, man. It's over. Fold it all up and go home. We're through. Oh, that was that took way too long. Now, we get to do something that's going to take just as long, if not even longer, because we have a smaller, uh, smaller run. Wee! <laughs> this little thing, it's so, it's so lightweight. It just gets flung around everywhere. Take this, at least get this put back roughly where it goes because we don't need this anymore. What we need is the merger. Here it is right here, right near the Ford. God, I love that tractor, it's so nice. Grab a hold, got it. Go back at the front, there we go. Tell you one thing I really do 
like being able to do front and eye, or uh, first person with these. I think it's so neat. It's so cool. Rock through here. There we go. There's one. And spin this guy around. Oh, much. Too much. <laughs> Drop it down. Now, unfortunately, with these, uh, these mergers right here, they do take a hot minute to kind of figure out what they want to do. And I'll explain. So what I want it to do is I want it to spit it out on the right. Okay. So we're going to go into our help menu here. Toggle work mode. Okay. So they must have fixed that. Hey, works for me. Ah, I forgot. Can't do, uh, Ooh, stop it. Go back. Forget you can't do uh, fast farming with these. It is what it is. All right. So now nice and easy. Come on. You can do it. Oh, and I'm stuck already. Come on. Just go. Stop. Stop it. Oh, I hate that there's things that keep me from doing what I want to do. I have to come through and clean all that up because this is not going out all the way, at least as far as I want it to. So what it's doing right now is it's picking up everything that we've got and putting it on the right, which is exactly where we want it. And once we get all this picked up, then we will go the reverse way. So we'll come through and go backwards. What that's going to do is it's going to put it all into one swath. We're done with the first pass. Spin them around. And then now all we got to do is get it kind of close and it'll spit all this into one. What do you guys think about that? Let me know. Of course, we've done this before. We've used this before. Let me know. Did you know about this machine? Did you know that this was kind of what it does? What it, what it does? What it do? You know, this is the easiest way I found to be able to do uh, runs like this. Is you've got this really, really big piece of machinery, but you're actually running it to where everything is running at once just like this so you're running two swaths really into one swath which makes collecting nice and easy plus if you overlap a little bit it doesn't hurt doesn't hurt at all actually if you overlap it makes it a little bit neater if i'm honest and it can pick up so much at a time so much at a time it just takes forever to do it that's the only thing about this so let's get this at least this field done and then we'll go get the collector and we'll collect this field i'll show you exactly how and what's going through my mind when I'm doing this kind of thing. Another great thing about this is it's really easy to move stuff over. So as you can see, we're currently just running a uh, running a swath over. There we go. There's that. Go and turn that off and run back one more time. Now right here, I think. We'll turn that on there. And we'll just kind of follow this extra swath up here. Boom. Just like that. Now we're taking both swaths, bringing them into one. This thing can move a whole lot at once. Look at that swath. A little unrealistic. Ah, it's all right. Doesn't matter. And here's my game plan for this. Drop it down. Turn it on. And go super slow, at least to start with. There you go. Higher worker. Actually, it might work better with this than, than I originally expected. This is working very well. Seem with the straw, it didn't want to work too hot, but as it is, it's doing okay. We're about 10,000 liters already, almost. There it is, 10,000 liters. Oh, we're bumping. We're missing a little bit. Can't afford to just leave that sitting. Come on, back it up. There you go. Perfect. So this is uh, this is our game plan. Instead of using a loading wagon or something like that. Oh, I forgot. It does not like to start. We have to start very slowly and then start bringing our speed up. There we go. I think for right now, we're just gonna keep a low speed. This seems to be working very, very well for us. Can't see anything. <laughs> That's great. Can't see a darn thing, let's boom it out. But we got all these fields to do, which is going to take some time. So what I do is I ask you guys to pray for me. Oh, <laughs> please, cause it's gonna take forever. Well, I figured out pretty darn early that we were gonna have way too much. And that was right. We did have way too much. So we've started doing uh, doing chaff. I've got a little bit left here. What I'm gonna do is we're just gonna, well, hopefully dump this in here. Let's see, let's get it about right here. Get that dumped right there, that'll do. Back it up a little bit, do the same thing. What I've been doing as well is whenever I'm dumping, I just kind of back the trailer around 
And I try, oh boy, come on, come on, come on. You know what, just dump the rest, just do it. <laughs> I've been using the trailer to compact and it works great. What was that 212,000 liters of chaff in here right now? That's insane. Oh my goodness. Some of it needs to be kind of smooshed. Let's have to be completely honest with you. Let's get this trailer off here real quick. And we got to get in the back because that needs to be smooshed down. It just is too that. You can see it. <laughs> Let's turn some lights on so we know what we're doing in here. Bring them around. There we go. And uh, that's, it's actually not as, not as heavy as I thought it was going to be. Is it even going to work for this? Eh, not particularly, no. Uh, I think we've just kind of piled it up a little too too much right there. What we need is some real silage working tools, which we do not have. What we do have, however, let's get that, is this guy. Now, I don't know if this is going to work. I want it to work, but I don't know if it will. What I'm planning on doing is using this to shove it all back in there. I don't even know if this is going to pick it up. Furthermore, I don't know if there is a collision on that. Okay, so there is no collision on the edge. That's good. Oh, turn it on. There we go. Now, does this work? If it will, I'm going to... All right. Does not work. Doesn't, doesn't pick up chaff. Darn it. All right, that's fine. Bring this uh, bring this around. Oh, easy, baby. I have plan B. The highlight and the star of the show. Oh, yeah, it's the Ford, baby. Let's bring this in. This is going to be what we use to get this cleaned up. But unfortunately, I believe that we've got a little bit too much here that needs to be cleaned. Actually, no, it's not that much. We just need to get it all. And, of course, we start coming in here. Drop that off, there we go. 99, come on. Just a little bit more, there's our 100% compaction. Boom, let's get in here, cover that, make sure there's no areas that haven't been covered. But I believe, and I'm correct, we are good. Guys, that is gonna be it for today. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please drop a like. All right, please subscribe. If you have any questions, drop those down in the comment section below. Hope you have a great day, and we will see you later. Peace.